We now return to Let's Play Lethis. I've gone ahead and added the rest of the beautification that I think I will need. I have almost a hundred people unemployed, so I'm going to turn on these factories again. Just so we can get some of that money going. Because that is really, at this point, the number one thing that is causing me problems. And, um, what's going on here? Is my math bad? Or am I just taking more... Hmm. I guess, I, okay, we just hadn't emptied the steam capsule. I need more workers. Build additional houses. Why do I need more workers? Oh, because this started. Um, we're full up on potatoes. I think I will turn this off. These actually take 12 instead of 9 employees. So... I can turn that off. How many people did we need? We need 44 more people! What? I guess we'll turn off... Well, turning off all the farms isn't really going to help, but we'll turn off some of the farms. And in that case, since these guys look like they're stabilized and they need alcohol, it's time to move on to increasing our, uh, our housing. So... Put in this one next. Missing workforce, I know. Let's put in both. Let's just put in both. Let's just do all of that at once. I'm going to need it anyway. And we're going to need refuse that. I know. Get those messages out of my way, please. Need workforce. Need money. Need it now. Now, now. As in, right now. I've got this wide open, and we're just out of copper, that's why. We're not out of absinthe, though. There's no excuse for not bringing the absinthe over here. And maybe I really should have just had this a little bit closer? Oh, we just ate up all our potatoes. <laughs> that's okay, they had some in store, thank goodness. I, I'm working on it. I'm working on getting more people in the houses. So what do you need now? Wash house. Wash house, of course. Uh, we'll use people... As soon as these farms are turned off... Yeah, now we actually need all those potatoes that I just got rid of. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay, 8%. Let's put in those uh, its services. Uh, wash houses. And get more, more people. More everybody. We'll just fill in there, and as you guys... There's a front entrance to this frickin' place. Is this just gonna build right on top? I like that. I like that you can build... That. that was one of the things that always bothered me about the Impressions games, was that as people wandered into the city, you could not build on top of them. So you basically had to wait until that long string of immigrants moved before you could build. So I appreciate that. Okay, well, I guess we're turning the farms back on then. I'd really like to get the automaton thing going, but we're going to have to take this in small steps. Why is the absinthe not moving? Okay, now it is. I guess they just wait for the stuff. I'm not really sure how much these things store. It'd be nice if we could actually see how many I had in there right now. because I don't know if there's a maximum that they can hold or not. But they seem to be waiting for an export before they bring their next load over. And they only seem to be bringing three at a time. So I guess that's the answer right there. They wait for 12. Um, we need to put in exorcists so that we have all of our people. 22% unemployment already, though. Well, fine. We'll just build it all up. Build it all up. And this little exorcist can go over here. Did I... Did I have that planned that way? I guess I did. Having it that way. I, I was just looking at where I'd left gaps for future service buildings. Um, and I realized that all of those buildings are kind of close together. But I think there's enough appeal that that will not be too big of an issue, although 
it might. But I, I can always... I left myself room to add even more. So, I think we'll be fine. As soon as this is tamped down and the houses evolve, because now they have access to everything they need, we should have plenty of people prepared. Got 20%. I need to find out how much that actually is. Uh, about 130. Okay. Minus the 12 times 7. We might have enough for one automaton factory. Let's put down... Oh, no, it's got to be put into a blast furnace first. And these are actually... Oh, these are 3 by 3s Good, so it'll actually fit right there. Uh, how many people does that take up? 20. Uh, I think that's going to take up all my unemployment. Okay. Now these are producing steel. Do I need that steel to go direct? I can think. I think it'll go directly to an automaton factory. Uh, I might consider lowering the production of absinthe since we only seem to be getting the three, and we've got a backlog of it. And we're not selling it all. More workers? Fuck you! Fifty more workers? Why? Oh. We, uh, we appear to be out of things, like food. So, can you just not get the food? Does it just take you too long? Did we not have a big enough crop? Okay. That's a little disconcerting. I might actually need to make more food. Um... You would think that seven of those potato fields, but... Apparently, seven potato fields is enough to fill in one of these. I definitely want to make sure I have uh, a lot larger stockpile than that. This could be a little bit of an issue. I might need to take some of these guys out. Shut down the steam works and this stuff again. We're making money, though. I've got almost 4,000 florin. So maybe I should just rely on my absinthe to make me money. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if anyone else crashes before the next harvest. And if they do, I'll shut down some industry and focus on more food production. And this is kind of like... I don't know. This is one of the reasons I wanted to just focus on one uh, store, or one, one block, getting that fully evolved before doing another one, and there goes all the food. Okay, well, yeah, that just clinches it right there for me, so... I need more... food. Uh, got about 100 people. Minus 12 times 7, so we need more people. Which means we now actually might have to begin digging into... my absinthe. Well, if only one block does it... Hopefully they won't be taking too much. But uh, we definitely are not selling all of the absinthe that I have stockpiled, so... We'll just start taking some of it. Achievement! Nabicide! We are killing lots of fairies for consumption. Or imbibing, as you will. Uh... Oh, they need a theater next. Of course they do. Okay. Well, fine. Switch that so it goes to the road. Unemployment is very high. You guys are pissing me off. You're really <laughs> infuriating me. What do you mean? Unemployment is very high. First, you're telling me there's not enough. Then you're telling me we've got way too many. How much is way too many? 20%, apparently. One in five people doesn't have a job most of the year. Okay. I'm going to put down some more potatoes. Just because it's cheaper to do this than to set up the infrastructure for meat. Now, I did not turn off any of this industry, so it's still going. Uh, and we're just sitting here now on a lot of steel. 
I'm going to pull this risk and make... Where are you? It's not an industry? It is an industry. Okay, I'm going to pull a risk here and build one automaton factory to begin with. Um, we'll see if being hooked up to steam like that... I am, in fact... Nope, I'm not. I'm not connected to steam. Okay, well, that's an easy enough fix. We can just drag a pipe out like that. That's really too bad, though, because, I mean, if you look right there, that is a steam connection like that one, and it's hooked up to the actual condenser. It's getting steam directly. And it shows it's got 200 in stock, but now it needs steel. What's your problem? You've got steel. Why aren't you distributing that? There you are. All you had to do was take it across the road, man. Unemployment's very high. People are beginning to complain. What's the consequence of that, anyway? Because there's no unrest in this game. Is it just that they don't pay taxes? I mean, what... Steam has no... I mean, that... That don't... Perfect, perfect, perfect. Too few newspapers and herbalists because we don't have any. Exorcist maintenance. I I can't tell. I have no idea what what this actually means for me. I don't know what upset people do. Yeah, and I know I know I keep complaining about price adjustments. I have yet to actually do the elite housing thing, which would allow me to eventually adjust prices using the uh, the rich guys. So I don't know that whole mechanic yet. I don't know what that would allow me to do, but... At the same time, I don't really feel like building up a whole section of elite housing that I don't have to, because that's just more employees that I have to find work for. So we've got 15 not used. Does that count? It counts. So I only need to add a few more of these. Uh, I've got 4% unemployment. Okay, we are using all of that now. How many people did this eat up? 30. Let's find out if I've got 30. I have got 30. So I will be just right there if I give them that. Um, Unemployment. Oh, you guys are pissing me off. So if I... It looks like if I build more absinthe... Or turn absinthe... I'm, if I distribute more absinthe, I'm going to have to turn an, the, these buildings back on. And so I have more of it ready to go. Uh, I'd rather not do that. Let's just find out what they need next. Utensils. Oh, that's more industry. Uh -huh. Well, I guess if I turn these guys on... It will give me the extra people I can set to working in absinthe. The problem is that I really could use... I could turn off the copper. I could turn off at least one copper. We're making a good bit of money. That's 20 extra people my way. I can afford one more automaton factory. Just out of curiosity, could I build them all along there? That would be nice. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and just turn all these on. Or not... I'm going to turn them all off, but I'm going to build them. That's what I meant to say. There. We'll just hook them all up. Uh, hopefully they won't all consume steel at the moment. I don't I don't know why they would being turned off as they are. But there we go. Let's look at that. So we've got two automaton factory going. They actually produced these guys pretty darn quickly. We're already at thirty automaton. It's it's instantaneously, really. Fascinating. And this still leaves me with 3% unemployment. So, we're now running into this situation here where 
we, I think, are consuming more of the absinthe than I should actually be selling. Let's only sell 400. That probably will eat into my profits considerably. Looking at the money... Yeah, oh god. I was only making... I actually lost a little bit of money last year. Hmm... I, 25% well that's just because these guys turned off I'm going to risk it and we're going to start making more absinthe and we'll just begin selling it at this market as well because I really don't want to I, I have to have something that I'm really? you're taking it? I must have clicked on the wrong one no I clicked on the right one huh? is he just not Wait, 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 what, what? Okay, click on you, you're stocking it. Click on you, you're also stocking it. But you're not actually... Oh. <laughs> I hadn't turned these guys into... Uh... <sighs> yeah. I already made the decision. That would be why we're running out of absinthe. Now we'll get a bunch of people. The game's gonna yell at me about high unemployment. I need to keep these guys stocked with iron, though. That's the thing. Now, even though they've got 30, they're still consuming this at an incredible rate, which makes no sense to me, because... just because. Uh, I guess we'll put down another foundry? Probably not wise to continue doing this, but at least one of these factories is enough to produce steel for two of these. So that means I'll only need three at maximum, I guess. Um, I like to spend time in the morning just looking at two metals becoming one. I was not under the impression that uh, steel was made with two metals. I mean, I suppose there are still alloys, but I don't know that that's what we're making. Okay, as long as we're producing enough steam to not only maintain these factories, but also my two copper people. Uh, I was going to consider putting down some of those gold mines so I could start selling the gold. It looks like we're still making profit, though. My money is still going up. And I've got 4% unemployed. Uh, damn it. I, I hate having to come back in here all the time and look for this. 40 people. Okay, that's one more factor I can turn on. Okay, we've got enough absinthe. Let's go ahead and give it to you guys now. We'll just keep this rolling. I think at some point we're going to hit that... that uh, tipping point where we'll be able to actually start getting profit through taxes. We won't have to worry too much about the selling of everything. Yeah, we're maintaining enough food for everyone, so that's good. Uh, I think you're also going to need a theater up here, aren't you? Theater! There we go. Okay, that'll give me enough people for more factories. More factories! You can have at least one more. Probably. 6%? Mm, maybe. And we'll need one more of these foundries to supply them all. Maybe. It'd be interesting to test and see if I can keep these guys supplied with only the two. But it kind of looks to me, at least, like... We are, uh... It's a two-to-one ratio. Like I said, I guess I can always find out. Okay, 19%. Are you farming yet? No. I want to wait until they start farming so I can see how much that leaves me with. 
And the next season is Germinal, which uh, we just started winter, so that won't be for another season. That's okay. I it's good to maintain levels of uh, of supplies. You know what? Since we've got some some absinthe there still in storage, let's turn you guys on too. And theater. Okay. So farming has begun. Four percent unemployment. What does that equate to? Enough for one more factory. Turn that on. And then I'm just gonna have to sit wait for profit. Uh as long as we are maintaining enough steel. Now we're out of steel. I don't know that those would go faster anyway. As long as they're not emptying. Unemployment rate is very high. Well, we can probably turn one more of you on then. So this might actually be 3 to 1. Although now we're dipping down below 100 on some of these, so... It might also have to do with proximity. These are so close that they can just take the iron that's right there, smelt it, and then turn it over to the factories. If I had to wait for an iron mine... Yeah, see, we're kind of... kind of dipping down a little bit. Not drastically, you know, not down to like 10. So, I think in this situation, two of these foundries is actually enough for six automaton factories, which is great because that's all we need to do. So now we're just focusing on making profit. And that leaves me with 7% unemployment. I'm going to assume that I can turn on at least one more of these. Um, we've already got enough though. I mean, do I really need to turn on one? No, I don't. Actually, I'm going to turn this one off. And, uh, because we've got copper. We're selling all the copper that the game wants me to sell right now. So instead, I think I'm going to turn on a gold mine. Uh, let's go find, it was Hasselport, yes. Let's open Hasselport, and I'm just going to sell gold straight up. Uh, industry. Go here. One, I'm just going to build two. Two it is. Now, hopefully this guy isn't going to show up there and miss it completely. I'm hoping he'll show up there. What would be nice is if he had a one square radius <coughs> because I think the inspectors in the later impressions games would do that. They would... their influence would extend a square because I, I remember that you could go diagonally and they would you know, they'd be right there, and the, the building diagonal to his last step would make it. I'm going to have to look at this, because... Okay. Just at the very end there, he goes into that last square before going into the building. So that's good. Um, in fact, this little dip right here is completely unnecessary, but that's all right. Yeah, okay. No risk of collapse over there. Uh, so, now that we're producing gold, it's got to go somewhere, which is way over here. So, actually, that means that I've also got to find a place to put it. Uh, since I'm not actually using this too much, we'll just go ahead and accept it here, but I want to lower it down to 1,200. Okay, there. There. I thought maybe I'd end up using that for a lot more than I actually did. But this is the level that I want to maintain, at least, for the rest of the game. The rest of the level mission. Uh, let's look at my profit. Where is my mouse? Okay, I'm making about 500 a year, so... We'll just have to sit here for about 5-10 more minutes. Hopefully not too much longer. 
Steam is being maintained at about half capacity. That's fine as long as it's being maintained. The automatons exist. And that's good enough. Okay, so we've we've reached equilibrium with absinthe. The uh, the guys are not going through it enough that they're coming and buying more. So I could think about selling a little bit more of that. Let's do that. Uh, 800 allows for just a little bit more. I could have made this so much more efficient. And in, in fact, seeing it now, now we're close to the end. Uh, whatever. I'll do it anyway. Um, I'm just going to draw a road, like, right there. And that's not, not beautiful, but we're not going to end up using the elite housing square that I made, and this is just much, much more direct. And it'll help finish off the level here. Only, well, after, uh... I'm not importing anything, so never mind that. I was going to say, after expenses, we've only got a couple thousand more to go. So yeah, this is a, another large map, unnecessarily so, because you don't need very much to get this mission accomplished. Just time and patience. And I probably could have done it a lot faster, but I was not expecting suddenly to have to begin the absinthe industry for Wilhelm, and it was only twice. That's really annoying when he does that. He only wanted it twice. But, on the other hand, having that industry early allowed me to start selling it early, so... Even though I wanted to do the uh, the copper and the gold and jewelry thing, which, I, in my opinion, would have been a little bit more profitable, it did give us an excuse. You know, it wasn't wasted industry. And I guess I needed it a little bit sooner than I'd expected because um, I had to evolve my housing. I do like this layout. I was considering doing the larger layout that I talked about a little bit. Uh, well, I guess it was last... Ep no. Yeah. One of the episodes of the last mission, I talked about it. Um, and it basically just extends the uh, the houses, like, here by one. So it fits in a bit more. And I did do a count. Um, when you maximize space, i.e. putting buildings on corners and that sort of thing, you get 31 houses in it. Um, my old housing block, I looked again, uh, with one road attached to it gets you 48 houses. So having that long rectangle is, is still better. If we ever have a mission where I really need to cram people into it, I think I'll switch back to that, but I like the look of this. Uh, even though it is inefficient because we are using twice as many buildings to get the population. You know, each one having these service buildings, that's just more employment it eats up. And that's another thing, too. Um, there was just a patch that came out that actually lowered um, some of the, the housing capacity, I think. One of it increased on easy. It increased common housing capacity, but I just read the patch notes and uh, something just decreased employment capacity. So now it actually takes a little bit more uh, to, to fill in jobs. So maybe that's why we were struggling so much. Anyway, I won. These automatons will one day represent an irreplaceable workforce. You can be proud, Everett. I hereby liberate you from your services. You may move back home to, to Gazik. Um, okay. New station flourishes. Perusing its streets, you may glance upon a wondrous sight of people and automatons, living together harmonically. Yet Everett is beside himself with rage. The Emperor's order effectively means that it will not be he who will build the observatory. His rival, Archibald Ellington, has gotten the job. But Everett begins to plot revenge. Ooh. Yeah, so when we were doing the, uh, the tutorial, we were Archibald Ellington, correct? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. 
So that one's done. Next up is Kitzburg. I'll see you next time.